Hey YouTube, welcome to Grind to Gold. This is a team fight tactic series where we're starting with a new account and we're going to make our way up to Gold League using one specific type of build. This series is going to be focused on Shadow, so all of our games have to include the 3 or 6 Shadow buff. So this is game number one we're showcasing. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy it and leave comments if you have any questions. Jumping into this. The first thing we want to do is try to grab this tier. Tier is super helpful for um, TFT shadows. Let me hold on one sec here. This music is destroying my eardrums a little bit. There we go. All right. I can think clearly now. So we didn't get the tier, but we got a rod. The rod is fine. We can use that for shadows. Um, our volume in general here is very intense. Like, let's tone it down a little bit. All right. Sorry about that. All right, so we got a tier. That's really nice. Like I said, Shadow really, really likes tier. Tier items for its champs. So the more tiers we get, the better. The nice thing about picking our build right out the gate is we know what we're going to need and what we're not going to need. So... I'm going to sell this Yasuo and buy out this board. Anything here could be um, relatively useful. I think I'm just going to start with any any two champs on the board. But because we know we're going shadows, we know what champions are not going to be useful at all to us. All these champs, believe it or not, could fit into our build somewhere, depending on what we end up getting. But not all champions will sometimes, so things like Predators don't tend to fit very well into um, Shadows necessarily. Um, I'm going to turn down the volume just a little more here. It's still a little intense. Maybe it doesn't sound as loud for you guys. doesn't really matter who it throws on the board. So yeah, all of these things can kind of fit into a shadow build if we are at least build into getting us a shadow build. So we are building shadows, but to get the three shadow synergy, we have to get a little farther into the game. We need um, a, a couple of three star or three level champs, and we need to be higher level for those to start popping up. So I think what I'm going to do here, let's see, we're going to start doing some process of elimination. We're going to put Druid on the board for now. Druid's pretty powerful early game. Um, they're all level 1, so that's, you know, not super helpful. But we'll either win or we won't. The early game, um, as far as early game goes, it's okay to lose. I think people get really frustrated early on if they start to get into a loss streak. And that's really not that big a deal. You're not going to lose a ton of health in the early game as long as you don't lose by a horrid amount and it's easy enough to come back from it and I honestly in a lot of games I like to lose these first three player rounds if I if I can do so without losing too much health and the reason for that is because when we get to the carousel I'll be on the lower end of ever of the health pool and what that means is that I get to pick my item first and that's that's pretty helpful, in all honesty. We just got a Silver Ivern, so that's nice. Um, we need to start making some decisions here. I definitely need this um, Malzahar. I don't think I'm going to need Vayne, so we'll switch that out. I don't think I'll need Nasus. This is a waste of my time. I could get Cuddle Bear for early electric, maybe. But I don't necessarily want to get rid of anyone that's here at the moment. I think I might actually get rid of Nico. That is the fourth Woodland, but we already have the Woodland Druid synergy with just these three, so... Not a big thing if we lose one Woodland. But we have a Malzahar that's a good start if we can get him on the board here in a couple turns. 
Let's see. We have another Leona here and another Maokai here. We'll put Malzahar on the board for now. We'll give him a tier. We'll grab the Leona. I think I'm going to sell Renekton's and get this Maokai. Renekton um, and the Desert Synergy in general can work into the Shadow Build, but I think since we have this kind of woodland thing going on here, it makes more sense to follow that for the early game. And this Nico is back again. Now, from an early, or not from an early game, but when you're in the lower ranks, try not to get too anal about um, your money. So, optimally, what I would do here is, at some point, sell one of these champions to get up to 10 gold. If I win, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get 10 gold anyway. Um, but some people will kind of get really bogged down about, oh, I got to make sure I hit my interest levels exactly when they're um, available. And at the lower levels, that really doesn't, that really doesn't play as big of a factor. Um, it's more important that you learn how, when, and where to use your gold than it is those min-maxing things. So, keep that in mind. As long as you're building up money when you're supposed to and you're spending it when you're supposed to either on levels or rolls, you'll be doing fine in these lower tiers. We're going to grab this recurve bow. Because we have a couple of rods. We have sparring gloves. And a lot of times attack speed items can work well on Kindred. Which is obviously who we're hoping to get. As we start pushing up in levels here. I didn't really want to have to sell that Thresh. But it's okay. I could grab these Iverns. But I'm not going to push for a gold Ivern. I'd rather have Nico than LeBlanc, I think. Not a huge change out, just... She gets the Druid buff, whereas LeBlanc doesn't, so... Now, normally, I could have leveled up to 5. I would have leveled up to 5 after the first carousel. That's something that a lot of players will keep in their heads as a, as kind of a benchmark is level up to five after the first carousel you can see this guy we're fighting level up to five and obviously it's going to give him a pretty distinct advantage over us the reason i'm not doing it is because i have a lot of level one champs that aren't silver yet and if i level up to five i i have less of a chance of getting those champs so We're going to hold on until probably after Krugs. Or we might just let it naturally level up to 5 and use that extra gold to build up our economy. I am going to sell this um, Zira. That might seem a little silly because Zira works really well in shadow builds. But we're not getting the other two. so or we're not. I'm not seeing the other two popping up a lot and I don't want to hold up anything. We have what I call a really good poker hand. And I just say that because we have a lot of pairs. We have two Leonas, two Orns, two Volibears, two Maokais, two Nikos. And what one of the other things that waiting on level 5 will do for us is it gives us an extra 4 gold. We wouldn't, or it saves us some money on levels. So right now we have a little more interest than most other players will. Um, on, we do have a full board, which is. Not helping our economy too much, but it's good to keep our options open at this point. I don't want to lock into a build too early. Other than the fact that I know we're going Shadows. Alright, so... There's another Thresh. I have to start making some decisions here. I think... We're going to pull out of the Thunder Buddies. Thresh and Nautilus make a good um, team... for wardens up front for shadow builds and these two are both shadows so I think I'll grab them I'm looking at my board to see what I want to sell and we're not going to be able to s make a ton of money off selling anything right now so let's wait and see what items we get from these krugs
Okay, so we got 27 gold, so I will sack these two for the 30 gold. Like I said, doing that, not necessarily something you need to worry about at the lower ranks. Alright, so what do we got here? We do have another Vigor. What I want to do now is I'm going to push the level to 5. And I'm going to do kind of a major team swap out here. Um, put you on the board and put you on the board. So this is going to give us two Wardens and three Shadows. So we have a little bit of defense. We have quite a bit. Um, we have the three Shadow buff. Now, all of our guys are Tier 1s, so we're not going to be winning any major battles right away. But as these champs start to get, we start to get their Silver versions, we'll be doing a little better. And even now, we're not doing terrible. I mean, I don't think we're going to win this fight. But... The cost of your life is one arrow. So for now, we're just going to keep sitting back. Keep economying up to 50. We're at a loss streak of 3. Our next loss streak will give us an extra gold per turn. We don't want to lose too much health. Just kind of sitting back and letting it happen. But if we can economy up and then start rolling for the silvers we need, that'll be a big um, bonus for us. I could level up to six here. This is another point where a lot of players um, want to level to six. But I don't really want to do that right now. Um, I need to save my gold. I want to economy up because I am losing. So, right now, leveling doesn't seem like the greatest idea. I need to really focus on getting to 50 gold, or above 50 gold, which is where your interest will max out. And then I need to start rolling down a little bit to start picking up these champs in their level 2 forms. So, you see we have another Karma. Um, I think I'm going to leave her for now. We have a Silver Vigor now, so that's a start. And this is really what we're kind of going to do. We're just going to chill here and push. Every time we have over 50 gold, we'll push some more champs out. We are in last place right now, which is kind of, I don't want to say nice, but it allow, looking at the bright side, it allows us to pick our item first at the carousel. Obviously, that depends on whether we win or lose this. This guy's got five Silvers, so I'll... We'll see what happens. All right. So we get to go first. Um, I am going to actually go for this BF sword. And the reason for that is A, Kha'Zix sells for more than Kagama does. But also, I can use this sword on the Malzahar with the tier and make Spear of Shojin, which is a really nice item on Malzahar. That will make him a little more carry heavy, especially since we still don't have a Kindred yet. Now's a good time to look at our competitors a little bit. We see this guy's going for a Berserker build. We have a Nocturne-style build. This guy's also going Shadows, <clears throat> and he seems to have a little more um, ironed out than we do. Predators, Berserkers, Woodland, and Ocean Mage of some variety. Uh, it's like a Ranger Warden build. There's a Silver Senna. I, if I was playing lights, that would be nice. So one of the problems right now is that a lot of people are getting Kindred and going for Kindred. And Kindred is primarily considered the better carry for Shadows. We're not going to worry too much about that right this minute. We can always focus on carrying with a different champ. Yeah, see, they've got a Silver Kindred. I know there's another team that has a Silver Kindred. So I think getting a Kindred is going to be a little difficult. Yes. Go. 
Gonna roll down a little bit more here. Alright, we did just get a Kindred. I don't really want to replace the Senna. So, we're gonna do this. This is gonna seem a little silly, but... We can item up this Kindred a little bit. See what we got here. I'm going to get rid of my Lunar. I don't think Lunar... Um, I don't have a Silver Leona. A lot of people have Silver Leonas right now. So our build is starting to flesh out a little bit here. It's slow and steady, obviously, because we are a little late to getting Kindreds, but that doesn't mean all that much in the grand scheme of things. We are against a very heavy Warden build, Warden and Ranger, so that one didn't go super great. Alright, um, Scion's not a bad choice, but what I'm going to do instead is level up to 6. I'm going to get this Annie on the board. Then we'll roll down. There's a Silver Kindred. That's nice. And there's another Annie. We're a little under 50, but a lot of times these wolves will drop gold. The nice thing about being in a losing streak like this is that you're getting a lot of gold from this loss streak as well. So don't freak out if you're this far behind. That's that's pretty paramount to surviving in TFT. I would like to replace this Senna with something else, but we'll see what we get. I could put a Runins on Kindred, but not sure if that's the way I want to go. There's our first victory in a little bit. That's good. Now, our goal is always to try to get top four. A lot of players, when they play ranked, they're like, oh, man, I got to get first place. Um, I got to get second place, which obviously is what you want to do. But make top four your goal. Because if you try to shoot too far, um, you're going to make bad decisions. I'm going to roll down a little bit here um, just to see if maybe I can get this Miles Heart of Silver. I don't usually go for a gold thresh but that's pretty uh that's pretty hard to pass up okay nothing yet i'm gonna hold on to these malzahars i'd rather have malzahar on the board than senna but i want him to be silver at least that gold kogma looks a little bit concerning but oh he has a gold warwick too all right so this guy probably hyper rolled predators of some variety which is a powerful build in the early game. Um, but it should start falling off here. So as you see, we just were able to take it down. So we have a couple of options here. Obviously, our Kindred is silver. Um, but a lot of people are going for Kindred right now. So it's going to be a little um, difficult to get up to a gold Kindred. So I think one option we definitely have is this Vigor. This Vigor, we have two silver Vigors. Um, and one more Vigor set will make us gold, and Vigor's ult is very special in that as long as his star level is higher than the person he ults, they're just killed immediately. Now, that works a lot better in mage builds than shadow builds, but regardless, if we can get him a lot of mana regeneration, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with in this build. So this blender build, definitely going to be a threat. We still get to go first here, which is pretty nice. I want to kind of go against the grain here. 
And we're going to grab this Zed. This Zed sells for five. It's also a tier, which obviously we want to have. Alrighty, so let's get rid of this Zed. I'm going to put his tier on the Vigor. And then I can combine that with something else a little later. I'm not going to roll down right now. We have 5 out of 6 silvers. What I should be focusing on a little bit more is leveling up here. People are still kind of getting to level 6, but... Right now, I'd prefer to be at level 7. We don't have another champ to put on the board yet, but I have a Silver Vigor and a Silver Thresh I could fill in for now. So this is an interesting build we're against. He's going Berserkers, but he doesn't have an Olaf. He has a Zira in the back. Still a pretty powerful synergy, but I think we're going to be able to take it down. Alright, we'll roll a little bit. There's our Silver Nautilus. I'm going to roll a little bit here to see if I can get one more Vigor or Thresh. I may not, which is... F it is what it is. No, we didn't get it. That's okay. That's one of the things you have to be the most careful about when it comes to rolling is that if you roll down... And you don't get the champs you need. You just wasted all that gold. And that's a, that's a gamble you have to be willing to make, obviously. But just be mindful of it. A lot of, don't, don't roll super frequently. It can cause problems. This guy's going for a ranger build. So that's, that's pretty painful. I think in general that worked out in our favor. More because of positioning than anything, but... There's another Malzahar I'm not too worried about trying to get. Oh, maybe I'll grab him. So, Raptors. Um, hopefully, we get some items to load up our champs with. I'd like to get Vigor a couple more mana-heavy items. So that when he does get to gold, we can just start ulting like a madman. Another Nico's help and a spatula. BF sword, a little bit of lag. All right, so we are gonna give Vega the spear of Shojin. This is kind of an interesting spot to be in. Let me roll down a little bit here. There's a Vega, so we're gonna use one of these Nico's helps on him. I think I'm going to give Warmogs to my Thresh, since my Thresh is almost gold anyway. I'll give Annie Thieves Gloves. I want to start using some of these items that have just been sitting around. So Gold Vigor, definitely pretty powerful. I would like to get two mages on the board to help him out, but it's a little late in the game to be throwing mages out. We are back up to 50. We're only level 6, and that's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, we need to start thinking about getting up to level 7 here. We're running, we're running behind on levels. I want to pull Kindred off of the... Blue and just give him or her or whatever Kindred is, give him Runin's Hurricane. That way they have a little more attack speed and they're hitting more champs at once. Yeah. 
So singed builds are always a little hard for shadows because they rely a lot on spell casts. And singed obviously stops or slows down spell casts. All up to Tibbers here. Hoorah. Alright, let's push our level up here. We're going to roll down a little bit. Um, and the reason I want to do that... The harvest is, upon us. is because we're approaching the part where the final four is going to be decided. And I don't want to save my gold and end up knocked out. We have our gold thresh, and you'll see we're grabbing zeros, and that might seem silly, but the reason I'm grabbing zeros specifically is because the way our team comp is, zero gives us the inferno buff, it also gives us the three summoner buff. So even though she's a level one zero at this stage in the game, the synergy she's going to provide us is going to be pretty big. Now Yasuo is one we have to be kind of careful of. Yasuo, when he ults, he will always ult the team member with the most items it's just death nothing serious so unfortunately that one didn't go too well for us blender nocturne still a pretty powerful build we get to go first here definitely thinking rabbitons is the way to go All right, let's um, give this to Veger. One issue we're get, we're having is all these assassins are jumping on my squishier champs. So I'm going to start Thresh back here and see if that helps a little bit. Just going to roll down to 30, see what we get. We can start building up a Kindred maybe. So in any build you play, this is something I was just thinking about, any time you're playing a build, or playing TFT, I almost always recommend you have two carries, and the reason for that is because if one carry gets m murdered for whatever reason, it's really helpful to have a secondary carry to help carry. So right, you know, we had our Kindred, but if our Kindred were to get annihilated immediately, at least we have our Vigor to kind of be able to still deal some hefty damage. So, keep that in mind. At this point, obviously, we want to survive into the final four. We'll see if we can do that. This is the guy with the Predator build. He does have an Olaf now, but it's not itemized and it's level one. So, hopefully, we'll be able to make something. We'll be able to pull through on this one. Clash of the Titans here. One health left, baby. So what we're going to do now... How much gold will it take to level to eight? Pretty much all of our gold. We'll roll down some, just see what we get. So now we got some Malzahars coming online. A 
Last Whisper. Um, we can put on Thresh, I suppose. If we can get another Malzahar. There he is. So now we have a gold Malzahar. Unfortunately, he doesn't have many items. But. Right now. I'd probably like to add more Wardens to my board, but I'd like to see them be level 5. Although, because we're at level 7, the odds of us getting a level 5 is very, very low. That's a terrifyingly scary Berserker team. But I think with our three golds here, we're going to be able to wrap up pretty nicely. And we made it into the top four. Just like that. So now everything at this point is extra credit. It may seem like, you know, this was a losing game, but our whole goal is to get top four and to do so consistently. So at this point, um, we're not we're not really here to hit level eight yet. We'll keep playing. We'll see what happens. We're kind of in the, the end phase of the game now. This is that assassin build. The assassin build was in first place. And we were able to make it cut. So one health is one health. I mean, if we keep winning, then we're good to go. What we need to do, though, is keep our advantage. That is... Paramount. So what we're going to do here is push right up to level 8. See what we can get on the board here. I think I think a Yorick makes some sense. We're not I don't think we're not going to get to a Gold Kindred at this point. Um we could do Ranger. Ranger would give our Kindred a 35% chance for double attack speed every so many seconds. I tend to prefer four Ranger if I'm going to do a Ranger build though or anything with Rangers. That Olaf is a little scary, obviously, but I think we're going to be able to keep him tamed. So now it's just me and Berserker Guy. I know exactly what I want. This on my Vigor will be very nice. He's at level 1, 2, 3, 4. He's at level 7, too. Now, we're at the last stage of the game. We only have a couple battles left here. So, we're going to move some things around here. I'm actually going to keep York back here so when his assassins jump on me, they don't quite murder me as hard. Um, I'm looking at where he's positioning things. He's kind of spreading his assassins out, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to move my kindred up here just... To maybe prevent him from getting slammed by the assassins. They're going to jump on my back line. Which the Zira, again, not super important to my build. They did get my Mazahar and my Kindred. But they did not kill my Vigor. So that's nice. So we're kind of in the so many final stages. I think the best thing for us to do now... I could actually look for a mouse, uh, Malphite. Um, I didn't get him. That's okay. What I need to look for now is this guy's positioning. How is he... He's got two guys jumping over here. He, he's, gonna, he's trying to have everything, for the most part, jump on my back line. Okay, Kindred and Vigor are the ones we really want alive. And just like that, we have turned this around and gotten ourselves first place. So this is a great example of a situation where even though you're the underdog for the entire game and you're not getting the units you need, you need to just stay calm, 
play the right way and get your units on the board as they need to be. If you lose, you lose. 